Welcome back to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation remains in the National Assembly, where some staff who had been employed since 2018 have uh, begun a protest, asking that they, of course, uh, be asked to resume work and their salaries be paid for the years that they, of course, have been employed. Uh, we are speaking this morning with uh, Iyanu Oluwa Babatunde, who's uh, joining us. Good morning, and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, and thanks for having me on Breakfast Show this morning. All right. Uh, give us a brief history of where this is coming from since 2018. Um, the story says that there has been a, there was a recruitment process. You had, of course, filled all the possible forms uh, to get yourself fully registered as a staff, but there doesn't seem to be, have uh, been any actual work since then. Yes, actually, we got our employment letter in 2018, and we were asked to resume on the 1st of August 2018. And as expected, went for the, post, um, the process to documentation, do screening and all of that, which actually started. But all of a sudden, we're told to stay back a while, that they needed to, they needed to do some processes, do some finishing and all of that, and we beckoned back on. And gradually, we're waiting for weeks, months, and we're waiting for almost three years now. But within this period, a time came and we're agitating. Why do we have to wait? What's really happening? And thank God for the management of NATS, that National Assembly Service Commission. They were, they are involved or they are to carry out um, recruitment for the National Assembly. And then they called us and did our documentation. That was last year in November. That was 2020. Now, before this back on, on us to come for our documentation. They claim, there was no commission initially. So when a new set of commissioners came, and thanks to them, they are not, we really need to say thank you to those guys because they now did an investigation and said that these people are actually supposed to be in-house already. And what's happening? So they called us for documentation, gave us our file numbers, do all they needed to do, and asked us to go to the National Assembly, that's not, to be documented there, and then that's where they will now do their internal posting, and then we can now start work and payments will start. And when we got to NAS, the management said we should go and come back. They are not ready yet. That was in November. We should come back in December. December turns to January, and January, and we are already in June. And the question is, why are we still kept waiting? Out of the group of people that have been employed into the National Assembly, some have been absorbed in. They were two years in April. So they received their pay for two years plus. And those who were um, employed with, alongside with them are yet to be absorbed. Now you gave 10 people jobs and you taught five people to come and resume and asked five to wait. On what criteria? Did you choose those who are supposed to resume? So, so, and the, those who, are so those who resumed, is there anything that they did different? No, it's the same later. It's the same date. Uh, okay. What I'm asking, is there anything that they did different that has made them, um, you know, get these jobs while you guys have been asked to wait still? Okay. Humanly speaking, to the best of my knowledge, there's nothing they've, I don't know anything they've done. Frankly speaking, I don't know what they have done that we have not done, or who they have, or who they know that we don't know or have. We're in Nigeria. All right. Anything, Iyanola, can hap anything is happening. When, yes, Iyanola, what you said there were 10 people who received the employment letters. I gave an instance. Okay. So how many pe people were employed in 2018? I initially, we were over 500. 500, over 500 people employed. What did your employment letter say? I mean, what was the recruitment role, the job role? We all were given, according to our qualifications, we're given levels, you're given this level for this or that. And then out of 500 plus that was employed, they called in 200 plus. And when I remember vividly that when I heard that my friends were getting messages to come and do their documentation at the National Assembly, 
I called and I asked, what is happening there? We should wait. We are in the second batch, batch B, and we'll be called upon. And a week turned to two weeks, a, two weeks turned to months, and we are counting years already. Those who were called initially have spent two years plus already receiving pay. What they did, like you asked earlier on, that has given them the edge over us is what I don't know. All right, Ianolo, I need to ask you, are you trying to say that, you know, since 2018, the other set, yes. you know, yourself inclusive, have not actually been working with the National Assembly? 20, they, okay, those who were called, were not even called immediately. There was a saga that was like devouring all around that. What's happening? That's why they called the first set. The criteria they used in picking the first set, we didn't know. So if it's finances, you claim there is no finances to finance all of us at a blow. You have finances to, to cater for 200 plus. What happened to the remaining 200 plus? Oh, what I'm asking you, Iyanu, my, my, my question is, have you been working since you got that letter? No, how will I work? Okay, how so will I work? I have a letter to work. We go to the National Assembly. We have access into the building, but you don't. You can't go into an office that you, has not been allocated to you. Okay, so Can so I, I I want us to get this clear because um, the protest here is about yes. the fact that you received an employment letter, but you have not yes. been cleared to resume work since 2018. Yes, yes. I mean, those of us who have not resumed, there are some medical practitioners among us who have resumed are working and are yet to be paid. Do you get that? Yes. So they are working for two years now. They've been working and no payments. And some of us have not even been allowed to work at all. So, so what have you? We don't have a portfolio. We don't have an office there at all. So what have you? So are, what have you been doing in the last in the last uh, since 2018? We've, we've gone to the we've gone to the last management. We've gone to the commission management. And the commissioners, the present commissioners we have now, when they came in and we are briefed on what has been happening, they did their investigations. And as a result of that investigation was what led to our documentation at the commission in November. And they asked us to go resume at the assembly. But getting to the assembly, the assembly say, we can't come in yet. We can't come in because of this reason or that reason. So, so what's the reason? Initially, it was finances to manage, to take us in. They gave. But our plight and pain is, in, I believe in every rumor, there's an ayata of truth. Few years back, there was retirement of over 150 senior staff from both the National Assembly and the National Assembly Service Commission. And the excuse they gave at that time, why those people needed, why our bosses there needed to go, was so that they can accommodate the new set of workers that are coming in. Two years have gone down the lane. They've been retired. And we are yet to be absorbed. My question is, why are we yet to be absorbed? Come to think of it, these people who have retired, few of them salary we cater for, we, how, what level are we coming in on for crying out loud? That's well, it. I um, just thought about this. Um, based on what are we talking? What, what even the excuse that there is no money to absorb some people, but there is money to absorb the others? Based on what criteria have they chosen those who are supposed to be absorbed? Well, I think I think that's where the, you know there is um, a challenge. You know the criteria through which they pick those who they picked and then yes. left some, somehow. Yeah, it's but a very big If they challenge say that there is no I money, mean, those who were absorbed. Yeah, but if they say there's no money, you can't. I'm not sure how you can really fight that. If they say wait until there's funding to accommodate everybody, no. the, the challenge would no, be. No, that's 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 what what we're saying. If they're saying is the money to do the needful. Then those who are in, where are they getting the money from? There are some people who have been in. Well, some I guess, people have I guess, been in I guess, for over know, two years. They've taken what their what, what their funding can cater for. But 
Um, I, I'm, it's also a conversation that needs to be had from uh, you know their end, so understand better yes. why they've taken those people. So I was asking, what have you been doing since 2018 aside this struggle? We visited the management. No, no, no I'm, not, I'm not talking with regards. I'm not talking with regards. You know, trying okay, to get I international. Have been doing. Yes, how you earn a living? Yes. Yeah. I'm married, thank God, and thank God my husband have a good job. I'm not dependent on his income. I had to go learn something to do for myself. And thank God I have one or two handworks I do. I cook. I do event management. I sew. I had to. I couldn't just wait for them. Now, I have the opportunity to go do other things. But I have colleagues of mine who are yet to be called. The protests we had yesterday, we had to gather TP, transportation for them. We told them, okay, come. We'll rally around and meet ourselves and give you transport to come and go. All fingers are not equal. I have the opportunity. It does not mean everybody has the opportunity. So I mean, those of us who have these jobs and are yet to be called. In the process of come for your documentation, come for this. We've lost two persons. Homes have been broken. The economy is not smiling on anybody. And it's, if, if you have a spouse, you know that you need resources. You need money to, no matter how little, you need to manage yourselves. And when you don't have this, you tend to throw tantrums, and everybody has a way of reacting to what one action or the other. Homes have been broken. All right, Ian, not happy. Ian, Ian Olua, um, what would yeah. you like the National Assembly to do, you know, as a result of now, the protest and speaking to the press? Ye yesterday we said, we want that, I told some of the management, I said, if National Assembly want to call us within this week, today it's Wednesday, Yesterday was Tuesday. If they want to call us this week to do our documentation, it is doable. See, where there is a will, you, you have, I decide I want to do this thing. I will work towards it. It's in their power to tell us, come in. Let's sit on the table. Let's come to an agreement. Let's come to a compromise. We've, we've suffered this for two years. They should be considering. There's nothing wrong in them calling us and saying, this is what we want to do. And we'll tell them, this is how we want it. We'll come to an equilibrium and come to an agreement. I am still saying it. There is nothing wrong. If they allow us into the office this June, I am still saying it. We have to get into the office this June. The management of the NAS know they can absorb us if they want to. If they tell them, they should look at us as their siblings, as their kids, as their spouse. Some of these management staff have spouses amidst us. Some have resumed and some are yet to resume. But well, what criteria? What about... Since we don't have it. Yeah, let me, let me just ask, you know, maybe play devil's advocate here. Is, is there a possibility that the employment spaces in the National Assembly have been filled up by the ones who have been employed? I'm sorry, it's not possible because I'm not saying this week. I have worked. It will shock you to know I served with the National Assembly Service Commission about seven, eight years back. And for every office, you have a number of people. Before this set, the set who we are asked to, people retire every day. You don't employ every day. You need people to manage certain things in an office. The National Assembly is not one small cubicle. Walking through the National Assembly from one building to the other, it's not, it's not an easy thing. It's a large, they can accommodate us. That's, I, don't, I don't see any excuse. Now, if they have an excuse, they should call us. And the time of us even listening to those excuses have elapsed. For three years, we've been patient. Okay, they will call us. These are the people we will work with. They will be our bosses. Let's find a way to come to an agreement. And all this why we have waited till now. Please, how long did they do they want us to wait? All right. How long? If I had a when child is... at that time, the child would be three by now. Yes, if I uh... talk, the child would give me an answer. Uh, when, when is the next uh, meeting you have, or when, when's the next time you are meant to be at the National Assembly? We... we... Thanks, they have asked us to send in representatives, I mean, sir, to them. 
they are really working hard. We are not disputing that fact. The commissioners are doing their best. We are not disputing that fact. But we want results. We want to get into office. It's not even wrong if we start receiving our pay, too. Yeah, but be, there's a, I think it's a seven-day uh, deadline. Ultimatum, ultimatum yes. That's I supposed believe. to elapse on Wednesday, next week, a week from today. Okay, so what, so, what happens after that? Uh, after the, well, let's get there and then we'll cross the bridge. Let's get there and then we'll, for now, let's give them till then. Then if nothing happens, then we can now know, or we can now do what we think we can do. We just need... Because all I'm saying is, if you have absorbed some people, then the others have the right to be absorbed. All right. So if not, put all of us on a playing ground. We either all go in, or we all find our way out. Mm. So yes, in, indeed, uh, your, your colleagues that are already in the National Assembly, legislative aides, you know, disrupted the seat in uh, asking yes. for payment of their salaries. Uh, this was in April, and we know that Femi Gwajabi Amela asked for patience. You know, it's been about two months now. So we'll try to get their own side of the story and see where the miscommunication is coming from. But we do hope that um, everything much. turns out well. Thank you very much, uh, Ian. Thank Uwa, you for, for having time. me. We really appreciate this. All right. All right. So um, we're now going to Kaduna for our next conversation regarding that NLC protest a few uh, weeks ago and how it affects lecturers in the state.